All right, I'm gonna give you six small exercises to look more jacked and big as fuck. All right, the first exercise is the neutral grip dumbbell floor press. This works the chest, triceps, and shoulders like no other. You have to make sure you grab the dumbbell with a neutral grip throughout the exercise. Keep the elbow in as much as possible. To work your chest and shoulders more, lower the dumbbell down to your lower chest. Pause your elbow on the floor. You could also isometrically contract your hamstring with the working leg, with the working side that you're working. That'll help generate more power and give you the ability to handle more weight. And to work the triceps more, um, lower the weight down towards your neck or upper chest and don't pause the elbow on the floor. And you'll probably be using lighter weights. As you like to start out with a set of eight to 10 reps, usually even one or two reps in the tank. And then I'll add maybe 15, 20 pounds and do a set of four to five to work on a neuromuscular efficiency. Then drop the weight down again and do two more sets of eight. That helps me progress and get stronger and build muscle at the same time. On heavier sets, I'll, I'll bring in my hamstrings, help me get the weight moving, generate more power. Lighter sets, I'll keep the legs straight and be more strict. So right now I'm up to about 145 pound dumbbell for a few reps on this exercise. I'm sure if I worked up to 160, a 160 pound dumbbell, I'd be uh, benching over 400 pounds, no problem. It would probably be smart to specialize in this exercise for a while. And it definitely builds more pectoral tissue than other pressing exercises. So I would say neutral grip bench pressing is a must if you want to build maximum chest development. And you could also do this exercise on a bench if you feel you're not getting enough range of motion. But I think this is uh, enough for me. All right, so the next exercise up is the Bulgarian split squat. And surprisingly, this is a very effective exercise. And I believe it activates more glute and lower quad than the barbell squat, believe it or not. This is definitely an underrated exercise. Anybody who doesn't believe this is a comparable exercise to squats hasn't really... Uh, tried them or progressed them. If you work up to holding 125, 150 pound dumbbells, you will see amazing development. Quads, glutes, hamstrings. And it's also good uh, for people who, you know, a lot of people don't have the mobility for the barbell squat and they're actually uh, not hitting all the areas they should be. So if you're leaning forward on a barbell squat, you're not getting enough quad activation, you're not getting enough glute activation, probably working your lower back more than anything. So this exercise could actually uh, give you the mobility of a Olympic weightlifter without being a weightlifter. Or at least work the same uh, muscle fibers in the lower body. As say, an Olympic weightlifter doing a Olympic weightlifting squat rather than a powerlifting squat. And the Bulgarian split squat seems to be the best of all types of split squats, one-legged squats. The resting foot acts as a tendon and allows you to get a better range of motion and better stability. All right, so the next exercise up is the snatch grip Romanian deadlift. This would be considered a small exercise as far as lower body goes, but you get more out of lighter weight. Snatch grip brings in the lats, traps. You get a deeper range of motion on the hamstrings and lower back erectors get a lot of work. So when I do this exercise, I feel a lot in my lats. So I get a good pump. I could actually probably replace rows with this and pull-ups for a while at least and it's probably smart for someone to work at this for a while and get really strong at it work up to 350 400 pounds for a bunch of reps that will put a lot of muscle on you 
just make sure you keep your form tight and be careful going all the way down at first you know it's possible you could pull hamstring with this if you're not used to it all right so now i'm going to move on to the rear delt up back area this is an important area for looking jacked so if you're wearing a tank top people are going to notice from behind and could make a difference in your physique your rear delts popping out and the traps rhomboids and all that and this here's the rear delt row so you gotta use a reverse grip on this and when you roll the weight up elbow should be flaring out so you hit that rear delt or whhatever else is back there traps rhomboids just want to make it thicker and this look good in the tank top look good from behind and it's great for shoulder health keeping your shoulders healthy you get a lot of work on the front delts got to work the back of the delts rear delts efficiently and this is a good exercise for that all right so the next exercise up is for the biceps so there's no way around it if you want to look more jacked you got to build up your biceps and one of the best simple but effective exercises I've ever done is this one here. It's uh, it's like a concentration curl with your elbows stabilized on your knee. This always worked for me. Always got an immediate effect on the biceps. I've worked up to 70 pounds on this exercise for uh, four to five reps in the past. I've done them in a while, but I'm gonna start doing these again. I notice when I stop doing them, I lose size in my biceps. So I'm gonna start doing these again. I'm gonna try and progress a lot heavier. I'd like to get to like 85 pounds on this for reps. So I might just start specializing on these. Might try doing some singles, doubles, triples on this. Build up some more strength in the bicep. And that should uh, bring more size, about an inch or more. So I highly recommend this exercise for getting jacked. Bring up your biceps, especially if you don't have access to a preacher curl unit. This will work similar to a preacher curl. Some people might say, oh, this is an isolation exercise. It's not going to build much size and your biceps but i disagree i think the biceps are one muscle that evolved doing isolation movements yeah you know, those people are always uh curling food to their mouth throughout evolutionary history picking things up so the biceps are one muscle that do a lot of isolation in nature You can do cheat curls, rows, pull-ups. Those all work too, but everybody I knew who had really huge biceps did their curls. End of story. All right, so here it is, the last exercise for the neck. The neck is a very important muscle. For looking more jacked, it can really make a big difference in your physique, the way you look. And this exercise here is a side uh, lateral extension with weight. I tend to um, favor this type of neck work because it gets right to it. Wider neck is a bigger neck. And this is uh, one exercise I can remember to do. If I do too many neck exercises, I'm not going to remember to do them be more reluctant to do them but if I just concentrate on one good one like this it's probably all I need and the side neck is uh, really what people notice a wide neck but working the side of the neck is what will be the most effective for making the neck look bigger and it actually helps because uh, a lot of uh, neck injuries are 
You feel them in the side of your neck, so the stronger you make the side of your neck, the better. Front already pretty strong. Back of the neck is pretty strong. And uh, the wider neck keeps your neck safe and makes you look bigger. So this is uh, one of the best exercises everybody could do. You could do bridges and all that, but this is uh, good for most people, I would say. All right, so that's it. Just thought I'd throw this video up. I think it's some good exercises here, and you could probably specialize in these or use them as finishers and get great results. We're getting more jacked and looking bigger. Talk to you later.